and gentlemen, welcome to Just Plain Living. I'm John Gray. Good morning. I'm Peggy Burton. And I'm Jim Fuller. We're glad to be here this morning. Yeah, we are. Yeah, right. Yes. I tell you what, folks, it's humid already this morning, and it's supposed it really, to be. Really uh, I think the heat index is supposed to be 98 today. Yeah. Are you serious? That's what you said. Yeah. Whoa. And 100 tomorrow. Oh my God! It's all this. It's all this mugging. It's all this rain we had. The ground <coughs> saturated. And saturated. So and it'll the sun dry off now. Out and and uh, the, the heat rises. Yeah, a couple of years ago, or maybe three years ago, I decided that it would be good for me physically if I mowed the yard at my office myself, rather than <laughs> hiring it done. So how's that working uh, out for you? Well, you know, it worked out good for the light, for a couple of years, but this year we've had so much rain, and so I also you know, went, fertilized it, and then did, so all, I did, the same did, did all this stuff, and so it really needs to be mowed twice a week. I know, and, I know. Uh, which would, in theory, would be good for me, but uh, the problem is the real. It's, it's raining all the time, <laughs> so I don't get to do it on the schedule that fits my schedule, and so consequently, sometimes the grass grows up. Well, we've been trying for and, months to get a patio built at, at my house, and the rain, again, you know, yeah. you can't do it in the rain. No, it's no, just, you can't. It's hard there to build you go. stuff yeah. in the rain. But then I don't want to be whining about it, because the first thing you know, we're going to be burning up. And out of water. Out of water. Can't, yeah. can't wash your car. Probably not this year, though, because most no. of the dams there. Yeah, we should have plenty there. here. Yeah, I think we're good for this year. So, record record rainfall. So and that's, that's it. That I'm is pumping it. about two inches into my pool every day because it's it evaporates. Do you have Do you have little friends that come out of the woods and come up there and drink water out of your pool? Yes, I do, and then they're floating there right now, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said something about having some frogs. I've had everything you can imagine. Uh, frogs you ever have a skunk though. in there? Never had a skunk. I've had moles. Really? And, and I hate to tell you what I do when I find a mole that's fighting to get out. I put hold him, him the, under. I put him in the skimmer and hold him under because I hate those things. <laughs> <laughs> killing my yard. They're everywhere. Anyway, so... Happy days for me when yeah. moles are flying. Yeah. I'm not real happy with moles either. And, you I, know, know, I have them in crazy. my yard occasionally, but I don't believe I'd have told that story, Peggy. <laughs> I know, I know. Somebody sent them after me and locked me up. It's probably an endangered species. Because I, I can assure you that somewhere out there, there's somebody that's that's a big fan of moles. That's a, yeah. yeah, mole activist. Yeah, mole activist. Have yeah. you ever felt the hair on a mole. It's it's a mole skin. It's very soft and very nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Isn't that mm -hmm. where they get the mole mole skin? I haven't gotten as far as skinning a mole yet. <laughs> Think of how many of those little dudes you'd have to skin to make a jacket. A mole suit. <laughs> Think of the money you can make. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Mole hair? That's no, that's um, mohair. And you it's think they actually hair. they actually come up to your your pool? To they get come water. to yes, they do. They come to the pool to get. I guess that's why they're there. Yeah. It looks it looks nice to them. They think, <laughs> oh man, this is an oasis. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. Well, they probably needed it's water. A death. This is a lot it's of water. A death it's a death sentence. Death <laughs> sentence. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my Lord. gosh. Well, they've got those little kind of web looking feet that they dig with. You'd think they'd breaststroke. You would think so. Because that's how they dig. And yeah. I saw yeah, that's a, mole a natural motion running on the ice several years ago when we had ice and snow, and this mole was white. I'd never seen a white mole. I didn't know they made skates mm -hmm. that I small. I kept seeing these yeah. little tracks everywhere, and I thought it was little birds da -da 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 -da, walking around, but it was a mole. A white mole. A white mole. Think about mm -hmm. how expensive a white mole jacket would be. Oh, my. You should have mold. You should have captured him and bred him. I, I should. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that he, is uh, the, the reason why is he saw you out there swimming with your white hair. White and hair. Well, this, he is thought, a, well. this is a place for white hair <laughs> people. I'll just. I'll just Go get Granny. Migrate over there where Granny is, yeah. <laughs> Folks, uh, this, this is the living show. And it, by now, we, and we're by dying now, up by here. By now, you can tell. <laughs> we really ain't got a lot to talk about this morning. Like, yeah, we do. You know, we just but, get sidetracked. Some, okay. of, some of us are tired. We had a great weekend in Telahoma this weekend. Well, did we weekend, not? Huh? It was All awesome. kinds of stuff going on. I made it to the art show, and it was wonderful. Art show wonderful. was great. Jim Meg House and, and Jim. Meg Garrett. What? What a pair. Yeah, yeah. Plus the reception was reception wonderful. Reception was nice. The music. Rooster, Rooster and the Red Maiden. Rooster sang. and the Red Maiden. What I love that. Name. I love that name. <laughs> they are so cute. Yeah, so uh, we've got video of a whole lot of stuff. I don't know how much of it we'll get to today, but if we don't, we'll get to it at another time. 
something happened this week that uh, a lot of a lot of you folks, the old timers out there uh, like us, will remember the Rico family I and remember the Villa Pizzeria. Yes, the, right. That's back before there was pizza anywhere. Uh, the villa uh, cooked some of the best. I, I don't think I've had pizza that good since. When mm -hmm. I first came to Tullahoma, that was one and, of the first uh, pizzas we ever had here. Yeah, yeah. Miss Betty, Miss Betty Rico passed away this this oh, week. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, she will uh, her uh, visitation will be on Thursday at 11 to 2 at Tullahoma Funeral Home, and then the funeral will follow at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. And the thing about it is, is she and Gloria Hyde. Were sisters, uh, the Hyde boys, Don and Bobby and mm -hmm. Mike and Tanya, and then Tommy Shelton's mother, Gloria. Mm -hmm. No, Miss Hyde was Gloria. Tommy's mother. I can't remember what her first name was. Oh gosh, and I know. But they're all, they were all sisters. Yeah, right. So uh, great heritage as, as part of this town, and good food and good times, and uh, there was a lot of activity around the villa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of activity. <clears throat> And she'll be, Miss Betty will be Miss. She was, uh, she was uh, quite a character. Yeah, absolutely, quite absolutely. a character. And you, you we see, like characters. We, yes, we do. We love characters. Uh, and there are really are a lot of stories that people on our age could tell about the villa. Oh yeah, you know, or other places it's like sure. That. Probably for people or for young men growing up today. It's tough to realize that back then you could probably go buy a beer in some places at 14 or 15 sure. if you had the money. Yeah, you know? it didn't matter yeah. to Yeah, yeah. You know, life was different then. And there wasn't, there wasn't liquor stores here, so you, there were places yeah. you'd go to the back door and knock on the screen and <coughs> hand you money across and they'd hand you a pint or, or a half pint yeah. out bootlegging. Yeah. Out the back door. So. Bootlegging was quite common in those days. And now days, bootlegging's yeah. on TV. You know, there's TV shows. Well, they're actually that. making liquor. Yeah, we didn't make it. Oh, just, <laughs> that's moonshine. Yeah, yeah, moonshine. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, but, but it wasn't always legal. No. Well, moonshine is not legal still unless you go get a federal license. Yeah, but you can get a license these days. You say you couldn't even get a license no. for that sort of thing. No. So. You got a license? I, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I used to work in a hotel here when I was right out of high school for a short time here in Tullahoma. And we thought it was okay if we had uh, several half pints of liquor because liquor was not legal in Tullahoma and, and people traveled through here and, uh, you know, salesmen all the time who are coming from places where liquor was legal. And I don't think we ever really thought that we're really bootlegging when yeah. somebody came <laughs> in and said, you know, where, where can you get some liquor here in this town? Oh, I would just happen to have some. I just happen to have some, some, you know. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Who knew we were breaking the law? Yeah, Everybody. exactly. <laughs> Everybody. But the, you, you know, they used to, they used to, I can remember, I can remember my dad and a bunch of the men that worked out at the center, you know, they, about once a month or whenever they needed to, somebody would get a list and somebody would drive to Nashville and yeah. buy buy liquor and, then if you and lived, bring it back. If you yeah. lived on the border, you'd cross the border into Mexico and haul it across. Lock really? Have you done that? Not, not personally. <laughs> <laughs> you you participated in it. <laughs> yeah. About it. <laughs> but oh, something else this past week, South Jackson, we had the ice cream social. Yeah. and. And then there was what, we Pinocchio? Actually, we actually got to be outside, which was nice. <coughs> Pinocchio went on three days, and it's going on again this weekend. Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday matinee, and Saturday night, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe so. So. Yeah. so there's still, there's a lot of activity taking place. And uh, I'd say this is Tuesday, so tonight is uh, All-Star Game. If you're a baseball person, mm -hmm. the All-Star Game is tonight. And uh, in Tullahoma? No, 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 no. Major, oh, league. major league, oh my goodness! <laughs> you, I, I must be out of touch. You're totally. way yeah. out of touch. He's asleep at the wheel. Yeah. Well, he's a baseball guy too. <laughs> well, I used to be a baseball guy more than I am now. I guess you know. I know. Unfortunately, time doesn't permit to a lot of uh, casual, casual watching TV, casual reading, or any of that sort of thing right. because of the way we work. And you're busy it all the time. Requires that you do. You work. Uh, yeah, you, you work. Actually so have to work. You know. Do something else. So, and work uh, is fun. I'm not saying that, but for the most part, but, uh, work it, is fun. It should be. Yeah. You know, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who go to work every day 
dreading what they're doing. It, that's kind of sad. It is sad. I don't really dread what I. I've never really dreaded what I did. I mean, well, you you've know, always done what you wanted to. There's a lot not, of people well, don't not get. Well, not so I make myself want to do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that don't get to do what they want. I know. Uh, even as a child, my sister hated washing dishes. I just disappeared into a world of being at a soda shop. That's what I did when I washed dishes. I just disappeared into some other act. And so I always liked so it. It's it didn't fair to bother say me. You had a vivid imagination. I guess, that, yeah. That. And still do. Yeah. Uh, that's just, what keeps you young. <laughs> but it is important to love what you do, or at least yes. like it. Maybe or find a way to like it. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, find a way to like so. it. I think so. I think that's well, important. Well, John and I had the fortune. We're fortunate enough to spend a great part of our life being professional partiers. That was, that was our, it worked that was, well for you, no, didn't seriously, it? <laughs> seriously, that, that was our job because we ran clubs. And that ring time. leader. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, ring leader. and believe me, you, Drum there, major. there comes a point when even that, you get, you get, you get yeah. That, yeah, that gets old even, you know, even that at, at some point, you know. That's true. That's <laughs> yeah. true. That, yeah. Just so long that you can keep that up. <laughs> right. But there's, uh, again, there's stuff happening all around you. It's summertime in Middle Tennessee, and there's fun things to do. There's, you know, we're so fortunate to have the lakes we have around oh, here. Yeah. This is almost so, like a paradise around really here, and people are finding out be. about it. Freshwater springs, lakes, rivers. You can do anything. Go you out, want to do. go out. My next door neighbor, I, I saw on Facebook the other day. Uh, Kathy, uh, Kathy Manage said, "Well, John and Hannah are gone to the lake, and they was." Next thing I knew, by 10 o'clock that morning, there were pictures on Facebook of them with big bass. And I mean, it's just, it's just there's things happening all the time that there's you can deal with. There's something to do. Almost any, uh, if you want to play golf, we've got nice golf yeah. courses, yeah. whatever you want to do. You know, you're talking about the Facebook thing. So, uh, a teacher at the high school called me up yesterday about this new deal they've got, or apparently not new, but it's not widely known where parents can re the, re review their kids' grades. Online, online now, or yeah. from your phone, or whatever you know, and they would like they wanted us to do a story on it, which we will. But, but uh, I said, doggone, you get you guys are are kind of tough on these kids, aren't <laughs> you? I mean, we used to be able to fake that if we had a bad, yeah. Yeah. you know, you know, and uh, not anymore. No, that not don't have no, She said, on. She said well, everybody's when you're living, under a spyglass. When you're living in a world where you can do something, and then uh, within uh, five minutes it's on Facebook, and everybody in the world can see it, that's the way it is these days, and we're trying. And catch up. I know. Yeah. So. And you know, there's probably some pretty sharp little hackers that'll get in there and change their grades. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's always a way to do that. Yeah. Somebody smart enough to do that. Right. And the thing about it is the ones that are smart enough to do that should be making good grades, but they really don't care about what they're right. studying. That's exactly. True. That's true. Exactly. Their their minds off doing something else, and my mind is too, because it's time for us to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with the rest of today's show. Don't you go away, because we're gonna have some fun. <coughs> On the train test range, the search for any possible weakness continues. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Train, the most reliable for a reason. Hello, my name is Joe Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. I'm here to talk to you about a couple incentives that are going on between now and end of the year. First is your federal tax credit up to $300. Secondly, 0% financing up to 15 months on XL products. Third, spring promotion up to $1,100. Finally, $500 incentives from your local power distributor. Please give us a call at 455-8757. Thank you. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors, and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Cove Lake, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Martin Weekly, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, Rugby in the Big South Fork, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at TennesseeTrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. If you like HDTV, you're going to like what Charter's been up to. 
Adding so much free HD that Charter TV is a whole new experience. National Geographic HD, Animal Planet HD, Discovery HD, Sports in HD, Movies, News, Kids Programming. Plus, Charter now has thousands of free movies and shows in HD on demand anytime. You want to see more TV in HD? Try Charter. It's smarter. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're pleased to have joining us on the set now Dr. Dave Heinrich, who is the new, uh, relatively new owner of Lawson Solistic Chiropractic Clinic on Maple Hill Drive here in Tullahoma, who, uh, since the last time we've seen him, he's gotten married. Yes, I have, yes. Uh, almost a month now? Uh, June 8th, we got married. Right. And yeah. uh, we got married down in Hillsboro at uh, my wife's parents' house, and uh -huh. uh, we had a nice little ceremony under the oak tree and the reception outside, and luckily, we didn't have a backup plan, and it had rained every day that week, but we were blessed enough not have rain on Saturday, so it was yeah. nice. So we didn't have to go ahead and for, and, and, for the And hills. the day after you got married, somebody ran into your No, no, that was uh, a week after. A week uh, after. We went on our honeymoon up to Gatlinburg and got a phone call on Sunday evening, about 11.30 at night, that somebody had drove a car through the side of the building over there. Uh, not as bad as it sounds. It didn't get into the building or anything. It just kind of did a number on the brickwork on the outside, which is unfortunate. Uh, it's kind of, I guess, a risky take when you're on a corner. But, yeah. you know, uh, it's in process. L or luckily, you know, it didn't put us out of work. We use the other half of the building typically. Um, so we're just working on getting the conference room back so we can utilize it for the health talks and things that I'm looking forward to doing yeah, in the future. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the health talks you're well, planning on doing. I've been noticing more and more that you get a lot of people that come into the office and they'll be complaining like fibromyalgia let's just use that as a mm -hmm. as a whatever a hot button and so a lot of people come in talking about fibromyalgia yet they have no idea what's going on with them they have you know they just they look at it as a terminal disease that they're just going to have it forever and, and be miserable and there's a lot of things you can do with it you know i mean unfortunately you know it's with the diet exercise and all that but they tell you to do that and then just leave it there and so you go home and have no idea where to where to begin where to do anything so uh, what I want to do is I kind of want to get a bunch of patients together, a couple, maybe once a month-ish, um, get some people in there and kind of educate them on what's going on with their bodies. We might do different health topics, and if anybody, I encourage patients that have topic ideas that they'd like to learn more about to just go ahead and call the office and, and recommend that, and we'll, we'll see what we can get done for them. Um, I think it's really important for people to, to be empower themselves with their own health care so that they know what's going on with their body. It's their body, after mm -hmm. all. So they might as well know how to take care of it. And I think that understanding your body a little better takes a big step in the right direction. So, You, you know, I've always been amazed at you and, and also Dr. Lawson before you, that, you, you know, you, chiropractic, you think it has to do with bones and joints and that sort of thing. But, but you guys seem to have a tremendous amount of knowledge about the, the general workings of the body overall. Absolutely. Well, I mean, chiropractic is, is really old. I mean, it's credited not be that old, but there are cave drawings of Hippocrates, who's the father of, father of medicine, giving a chiropractic adjustment. You know, I mean, it's so, if he's the father of medicine and he's doing chiropractic, he must have known something. Um, so it does start with the bones because that harvest, that harnesses the nervous system, which starts at your brain and your spinal cord. Now those nerves go out to every cell in your body, what be it your, you know, your index finger or your kidney or your heart or your lungs or anything like that. It could be your big toe, could be anything. And so dysfunction with your nervous system, which can happen with irritation, inflammation of the nerves and the joints around the spine, can just cause a lot of, a lot of pain. And so, you know, people that come in and, and think that we're just all about cracking the back and, and see you later, um, you know, they, they are pleasantly surprised when we actually work with the muscles and everything around it to kind of balance the body back out to get it pain free. That's right. our main goal. Unbelievable. And I, I would imagine it's, it, it's a, something that maybe changes a lot or more knowledge is out there because you guys seem to always work at learning new techniques, new stuff. And Right. Well, there's over a hundred different ways to adjust the spine. Yeah. And uh, in chiropractic college, you typically learn about four or five different ways. Um, and every school is different. Everyone has a core technique. My school's technique, Logan and St. Louis, we use the ligaments of the pelvis to kind of relax mm -hmm. the spine and, and balance everything out. It was real low force technique, not a lot of crunching and popping and stuff like that. It, it is great for some people. Some people really appreciate that. Right. And uh, you know, rather than me doing the old, you know, bouncing off their back and everything. And so some people just don't like that, and that's fine. There's plenty of things we can do otherwise uh, that can help them. 
And so, you know, and then we're required to do training every year. Uh, Dr. Lawson and I are actually going up to Nashville in August together to learn some new things. Um, so we have 24 hours of training that we have to do. Uh -huh. um, and typically we like to use that to learn new things because there's no point in going over the old sure. stuff, you know. Right. Um, but you'd be, in chiropractic, the more you learn, you'd be surprised how often you go back to even further remedies and things like that. I mean, the herbs and, and things like that that people are using now, those haven't changed in thousands of years. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, it's not like the pharmaceutical industry where there's something new coming out all the time, something new, something better. It's more of, well, this worked back then, why wouldn't it work now? And oftentimes it does, which is uh, definitely preferable than pounding your system with pharmaceuticals, I guess. <laughs> but. You know, and one of, the, one of the neat things I like about having you guys on the show is I get all this free advice. Some, some, sometimes, it, sometimes it may not be something you want to hear. Hey. But for instance, this morning, uh, Dave comes in and he's and I'm drinking a soft <laughs> drink. Now, tell me what you told me about the soft drink. I just I got on you a little bit about maybe forming a little kidney stone early this morning. <laughs> right, now, there's right. something about out in this area that kidney stones are rampant out here. And I don't know if it's because of the heat and the humidity, people just out there drinking lemonade, not enough water. And, and water is a huge deal. You should drink half your body weight in ounces per day. So, you know, do the math. If you weigh, let's just say you weigh 100 pounds, I'll be generous to you, right? Yeah, and, uh, yeah right. And, uh, so that's 50 ounces of water a day. Now, a typical bottle of water, like, uh, you know, just the ones you get at the store, about 16.9 ounces so you do the math you got to drink four or five of those a day it's not That's the one a lot of water, it really. is a lot of water but you think about it and especially if you're taking vitamins and things like that you need to dilute them a little bit with the water to get them properly absorbed into your system and so that's where you want to go with that. And now Sundrop is just loaded with sugar. And I don't know if it's the citrus in there, but something is causing a lot of kidney stones out this way. But, uh, you know, luckily there are a lot of things you can do with that, but, which so, is so interesting. Consuming a lot of water then is one of the things that will help that's one of the prevent things. Um, kidney stones? Well, now kidney stones are mostly made out of calcium. Uh -huh. uh, and so in order to get rid of the calcium, you flush it with phosphorus, which is in Coca-Cola, for instance. Phosphoric acid is what they say rots your teeth. Uh -huh. Now your teeth are made of calcium too at the core level. So basically you flush it with phosphorus and it goes to your kidneys, binds with the calcium and gets it right out before you have a real problem. Yeah. Because no, there's nothing worse than a kidney stone. I wouldn't know, but I've seen it and it's I, bad. I've heard that as well as well and know that's nasty people mess. who actually had those. And Absolutely. It's really a tough thing. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. We never know sometimes or maybe we don't want to know. Well, you'd what, be surprised. What, uh, what goes on in your body and the things that you can do to hurt your body. Well, the good news is there's help and like I said, we're kind of focusing on educating the people that, that we do see and, and new people as well that there, there are alternatives out there to keep you feeling well. I mean, pain is common, but it's not normal. And so that's the main thing that we try to, we try to focus on. And feeling well uh, is uh, a big part of what you do, and probably mm -hmm. most, the major part of what you do. Maintenance, and you don't necessarily have to be uh, sick or in pain to nope. benefit from what you do. Absolutely not. Absolutely okay. not. Sometimes people come in, lay down, and they'll say, I didn't even know that was sore until you were pushing on it. And I know I've got some big thumbs, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not pushing too hard, you know. And so it's great that we find some things going on that they, maybe they didn't realize were going on, and we can prevent a larger problem down, down the road. Okay. And that's, uh, that's important. And that, and that number you see on the screen, by the way, is the number of the clinic. Yes. So August 1st, we're changing the name to Heinrich Chiropractic, so don't be alarmed, but it will still be same place, same face, so we'll see you there. Yeah, because uh, Dr. Heinrich's already been there for mm -hmm. several I've months. I've been there since December, so it's, yeah. about, it's about time to do that. So. Yeah, yeah, but right. Dr. Lawson will still be around uh, here and there while he's still out on the road with Bon Jovi, but right. uh, he's back in the States now, so he'll be, he'll be back. Like I said, he'll be back in August, so we're looking forward to that. Yeah, okay. All right. So give uh, Dr. Henrik, uh, Heinrich a call there, 931-454-0544, and get yourself on the road to feeling better today. Just Absolutely. stop by for a maintenance checkup. There you go. Thank you, Jim. Dave, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure Dave, to see you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back in a moment with more living following these messages. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. 
The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. favorite show shouldn't have to fight to be seen. With Charter, you get four DVRs. So now every family member can watch what they want, when they want, where they want, without any battles. Call now to get DVR service for your home. You know, ladies and gentlemen, for most of us, you get one opportunity in your life to go to your senior prom. But in Telehoma, at Telehoma Life Care Center, that's just not the way it is. Every year they have a senior prom at Life Care Center, and it's an opportunity for all of the residents over there to uh, get fixed up, get their prom dresses on, get made up, hair done, suits and ties and flowers, and even a little dancing takes place. Let's go to the senior prom at Telehoma Life Care Center. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with Travis Hillis at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. And Travis, y'all are having a great event down here this afternoon. Tell us exactly what's going on. Actually, um, it's our second annual senior prom. Um, we've been doing it here at the facility for the last couple of years, and it draws a huge crowd. Families come. Uh, residents come they enjoy they eat and sing and be happy and you'd be surprised the emotional uh, side of it when people get to see their loved one really dressed up it does them some real good well that's great you know and that's just another way that, that we can see how life care center of Tullahoma looks for those special ways to get their residents involved and have a wonderful experience here that's great thank you guys for coming out all right one of the things they do here at the, at the senior prom is look at all these lovely flowers Hours. We're getting the flower home. And, they, and, they, and looky here, they're getting ready to put these. Got it, Miss. She got a look at it. All right, looky here. We're <laughs> pinning one on right there at the senior prom. Isn't that good? Look at here, they're having senior pictures made, prom pictures made. doing that for the Life Care Center. Thank you, Norris. Howdy. Look there. There's all these beautiful people down here. Look at those lovely faces right there. They're going to have music. They're going to have... Are you, are you the karaoke star? No. Oh, I bet you are. No, no, no. That would be Travis. Travis. Yeah. Are y'all getting ready for the dance tonight? You going to do some dancing tonight? Good looking food here. We'll get started with the best team. 
they get to all dress up and put on their makeup and all this good stuff and look pretty. For the prom. For the prom at the Life Care Center in Tullahoma. There you go. Looking for a unique gift for someone special? Or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Charter Triple Play lets you experience TV, internet, and phone the way you want with no contracts. Hooked on HD? Now over 100 HD channels available. Movie lover? Get 10,000 on-demand movies and shows. 1,500 in HD, including movies in 3D. Missing your favorite shows? Record and watch TV with DVR service for four rooms and over 780 hours of storage space. Get Charter TV for $29.99 a month. Photo fiend, music fan, video streamer? Switch to super fast Charter Internet and do it all with the bandwidth to support all your devices. At 30 megabits per second, Charter Internet is 10 times faster than the phone company's DSL. Get Charter Internet for $29.99 a month. Want for less? Charter Phone has unlimited long distance calling with no added fees like the phone company charges. Get Charter Phone for $29.99 a month. The new Charter Triple Play. TV, internet, and phone for just $29.99 a month each when bundled. Call 855-81-T-PLAY now. All right, folks, I have the, the sweetest gal that you'll ever see on set with me, and that is Miss Joyce Graham, and she is the berry lady, and she has the berry farm. Right. And it's berry time. It sure is. Berry picking time. For blueberries? Blueberries, basically, right. We mm -hmm. have a small patch of blackberries, and the June bugs and Japanese beetles have a heyday there. They there, like so. them. No, oh, they love them, so, you know. But where, where are you located? On New Rock Creek Road. It's about a mile, mile and a half off 41A. Turn at Tallahoma Furniture Outlet Store, and there's a huge big sign by the driveway. You can't miss it. Okay. You blow your horn when you come so that we know you're there, because sometimes we'll be out, you know, picking or, or weeding and feeding or spraying and praying, so, you yeah. know. <laughs> So you have your work clothes on today. I love I those sure bridges. I sure do. These are, yeah, these are my original. I probably like one of the long fable stories where there was a pee in the bed and the lady knew it was under her bed and, you know, I feel everything, you know, so. Uh-huh. So I've tried everything, the football uh, pads. guards, pads, and everything, <laughs> and none of them work, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll just fix my own. So, so anyway. So when you pick, you sometimes get on your knees. Oh, and yeah. Oh yeah. Revert back to your child. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> I well, and that's ball. what that's what going and picking your own stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, what you grow out out there is probably naturally done. It, we're certified. In every way. We're certified organic yearly, so you know we wouldn't put toxic poisons or chemicals on them. They have very health benefits, but why would you? That's not going to do any good if you're poisoning them. Right. 
Right. So that's where a lot of our health issues, you know, come from. I'm 70, and praise the Lord, I'm still doing fine. Doing good, looking good. Right. Well, have a big smile all the time I've ever seen you. What a good lady, and always has a good-looking hat on. I oh like yeah, hats. yeah. But this one works better for me when I'm picking because I can pick on the outside. You know, I don't mind getting in the bush. You know, and if you have a big rimmed hat, which I do have, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, when I'm on the tractor, I'll wear a big brimmed one. Mm -hmm. But you know, when I'm picking berries, you know, where it's uh, I can get in, you know. You can get so. in there and get the good ones. Oh, yeah. You said you picked those in a couple of minutes this morning? Yeah, I was in a big hurry for some reason. <laughs> and, and tell us about this cup here, the, the cup with the handle on it. What's, what's the purpose of that? Oh, well, uh, when we have customers to come and pick, this, uh, if I'll demonstrate, can sure. I do that? Okay, you just put it in, uh, in your pants or clothes or whatever you're wearing, and then you got both hands to work with, okay? And, and you can hold the bush back where there's some back underneath that's mm -hmm. far away, so it makes it really easy. If you fill this up full, then you've got two pints of these right away. So, you know, it makes it, works really. Good Lord had to drop that on me somewhere for me to, to, do, <laughs> <laughs> but to do that, you know, so, uh, but that works really well, and it's a lightweight deal, and you know, and you go ahead and pick in that, and you pick in our containers and transfer into yours when you're done picking, and uh, whether it's pans or bowls or freezer bags, so, um, if they're not wet, you know, they're, they're fine, they recommend you not washing them before you freeze them, because they start degenerating right away, so. And we take orders as well, so you know we go through a process with that. So uh, if someone, if someone didn't say, like someone was uh, on a walker or a wheelchair, just did, didn't have the physicality to go pick, you'll pick for oh, them. Oh right, we take orders for you know what people want, you okay. know, and try to fill. So they can it. just drive up to the house and. Well, they call the, yeah. call ahead of time because yeah. we don't pick every day. We try to wait until they're, we kind of get anxious when they start turning blue and we want to pick right away. So we have to, you know, give them a week or a few days or whatever to make sure. And we have to deal with the, um, our logo is good Lord willing and his weather permitting. So yeah. therefore, we have to, you know, go with, with what that. God sends us. And we're thankful for everything that he does for us. And um, especially his son, Jesus. So, um but we also, um, with the, uh, how we, when we pick, uh, we bring them in and we go through them. We pick and you know, transfer them into a, mm -hmm. a quart container and then we, then we pour them in so we can know in the house. But we, what we do, we have a box that we put unscented paper towels in and so we roll them. And so basically we're, they're clean because they're nothing but, uh, uh, showers from the rain and, uh, so. Uh, they may have a little dust on them, and so therefore we roll them. We pick out what's red or too uh, too ripe and mushy or whatever, mm -hmm. and then uh, we um, go ahead and put them in the pints. And um, we don't put them in the refrigerator because originally when I started, I bought used refrigerators, and you know, and you put them, you pick them, and you put them in. When you take them out, what are they? They're wet, so they're already deteriorating already. So another thing the good Lord dropped on me was uh, just having them, chilling them over our air conditioning. So we have it set up. We have quite a, looks like a factory in our dining room. So, you know, it, it's, it's quite set up. My dad built me a, a couple of things to, to store them in. And where there's a vent in, 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 our, in our room, uh, the air condition comes you in. And we have it set there and, and it's covered up and it's like you know they're chilled they're yeah. never wet so it's great you know, okay so. how can someone get in touch with you if they want to call in an order um it's four five five six eight five five which is on on the screen right now and uh, philip knows that number good oh he sure does <laughs> he's philip scoggins our producer's your nephew he is yes yeah. and so. then and the, him and the kids come out and pick sometimes and they just you know have, have a big time have a, a really good time big time so. Blueberries is now, are there other berries that you have from time to time? I know no. you've tried no. different things. Right. Uh, when I started originally, I put strawberries on, on the sign, but I had to paint it off because I didn't have time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. this lady is a great lady, as you can tell. They have a great product out there. You give them a call or just drive out the old Rock Creek Road? New. It's, New Rock Creek Road. Well, it, I just, yeah. And they'll find you. Mm -hmm. Honk your horn and go to picking. That's right. Picking and a grinning. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We'll be back in just a minute.
Are you a shoeanista with no place local to find your style? Well, now you don't have to travel any further than Bren's Shoe Boutique. Located at the Village on Jackson, 1940 North Jackson Street, Suite 120 in Tullahoma. From funky to formal, you can find the fit and style that will make you smile at Bren's. A shoeanista herself, owner Brenda Kemp offers brands like Rocket Dog, Jessica Simpson, Mia, Nine West, J. Renee, Bandolino, and more. Want that accessory splash that none of your friends have? Brins offers a selection of one-of-a-kind handbags and jewelry with just the right bling. So if your shoe selection doesn't stack up, find what you've been looking for at a price you can afford at Brins Shoe Boutique, now open in Telahoma. Hi, this is Peter, and I work for the American Red Cross. During events like this, people are always asking how they can help. For just an hour of your time, and a little stick in the arm, you too can help save a life. There's always a constant need for blood. Make an appointment with the American Red Cross and donate some blood. Call 1-800-RED-CROSS or go online to redcrossblood.org. Thank you. The Charter Triple Play lets you experience TV, internet, and phone the way you want with no contracts. Hooked on HD? Now over 100 HD channels available. Movie lover? Get 10,000 on-demand movies and shows. 1,500 in HD, including movies in 3D. Missing your favorite shows? Record and watch TV with DVR service for four rooms and over 780 hours of storage space. Get Charter TV for $29.99 a month. Photo fiend? Music fan? Video streamer? Switch to super fast Charter Internet and do it all with the bandwidth to support all your devices. At 30 megabits per second, Charter Internet is 10 times faster than the phone company's DSL. Get Charter Internet for $29.99 a month. Want more talk for less? Charter Phone has unlimited long distance calling with no added fees like the phone company charges. Get Charter Phone for $29.99 a month. The new Charter Triple Play. TV, internet, and phone for just $29.99 a month each when bundled. Call 855-81T-PLAY now. Well, it's hot, and don't miss an opportunity to be cool. And we didn't. We, last Thursday night, Channel 6 was at South Jackson's Midsummer Night Thing, the Ice Cream Social, where the ice cream was cool, the music was cool, and so were the people. Hi, we're at the Midsummer Night Swing at South Jackson Civic Center, and there's every... There's people... You're working for my wife? I am. I'm working for your wife. Well, good. Here she comes. That's right. Here comes Miss South Jackson right there. That is Miss South Jackson. All in purple. That's exactly right. Yeah, they're serving ice cream here tonight. We've got these politicians down here wanting to get all these right. folks to vote exactly. for them, and they're showing... They're showing how much they care about community service. So there's ice cream and there's music. There's the South Jackson Street Band. And then we've also got uh, we've also got some art over here. Some ice cream art from the uh, Annie Rones bunch over there at the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center. I'm sure there'll be some dance contests take place here in Little Bit.
there's old Mark over there. We're looking at his good side. That's right. It's ice cream time at South Jackson Civic Center. A lot of fun, a lot of great music, a lot of fine people, politicians and trains. with no place local to find your style? Well, now you don't have to travel any further than Brand Shoe Boutique. Located at the Village on Jackson, 1940 North Jackson Street, Suite 120 in Tullahoma. From funky to formal, you can find the fit and style that will make you smile at Brands. A shoe anista herself, owner Brenda Kemp offers brands like Rocket Dog, Jessica Simpson, Mia, Nine West, Jay Renee, Bandolino, and more. Want that accessory splash that none of your friends have? Brins offers a selection of one-of-a-kind handbags and jewelry with just the right bling. So if your shoe selection doesn't stack up, find what you've been looking for at a price you can afford at Brins Shoe Boutique, now open in Tullahoma. Hi, this is Peter and I work for the American Red Cross. During events like this, people are always asking how they can help. For just an hour of your time and a little stick in the arm, you too can help save a life. There's always a constant need for blood. Make an appointment with the American Red Cross and donate some blood. Call 1-800-RED-CROSS or go online to redcrossblood.org. Thank you. The Charter Triple Play lets you experience TV, internet, and phone the way you want with no contracts. Hooked on HD? Now over 100 HD channels available. Movie lover? Get 10,000 on-demand movies and shows. 1,500 in HD, including movies in 3D. Missing your favorite shows? Record and watch TV with DVR service for four rooms and over 780 hours of storage space. Get Charter TV for $29.99 a month. Photo fiend? Music fan? Video streamer? Switch to super fast Charter Internet and do it all with the bandwidth to support all your devices. At 30 megabits per second, Charter Internet is 10 times faster than the phone company's DSL. Get Charter Internet for $29.99 a month. Want more talk for less? Charter Phone has unlimited long-distance calling with no added fees like the phone company charges. 
Get Charter Phone for $29.99 a month. The new Charter Triple Play. TV, Internet, and phone for just $29.99 a month each when bundled. Call 855-81-T-PLAY now. You are going to be glad you hung around for this segment. I am so pleased to be on the set today with Hillary Bevel and Ben Ayers, who make up the duo Ben and Hillary, right? Yes, ma'am. And you guys have been playing how long together? Uh, we've been playing a couple years together. And uh, I've been playing fiddle for seven years. I've been playing guitar for uh, eight, I guess. Since you were this high at South Jackson Ghost Country, you were about ready to start guitar then, I think. And uh, I've watched you on YouTube, so I know a little bit about what you do. And I had intended for you to be playing when we started, but we just finished a music segment, so I thought I'd talk just a little bit. I know you're going to be at the Celtic Cup soon. When is that? Uh, Saturday. This week. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this Tuesday night or Thursday night or Friday, you've still got a chance to go. What time? Uh, six o'clock. Six o'clock till... 7.30, till they run you yeah. off. How's that? Okay. Till eight, about 8. Yeah. It'll be fun. And, and I want you to do a number for me right now. So what are you going to do, Hillary? Uh, I'll do a little Celtic piece called Small Tail Jig, uh, followed up by Toss of Feathers. Okay. One little med medley.
Celtic music. It, do you play all types? I know you do, but uh, uh, what's your favorite? Different. I mean, I play different genres of fiddle music. Uh, I'm really good at old time music and yeah. Celtic, and I'm getting into Canadian fiddle oh, music good. too. Good. Um, so, what what was your influence there? Uh, I I've fallen in love with this band called Genti mm -hmm. Uh They play this uh, French Canadian music, and the guy plays his fiddle and does this uh, foot, foot percussion thing and sings all three at the same time. At the same time. And I just love that kind And of I know music. that you dance and play the fiddle and we promise to have you back here and you will dance and play the fiddle at the same time because this young lady is the national buck dancing champ, right? Mm -hmm. You just won that at Dave Macon Days? Yeah, just this weekend. What fun. I am really proud of you. And Ben, you're at MTSU, did you mm -hmm. tell me that, a uh, sophomore? Um, fixing to be a junior. Okay, and what are you majoring in? Uh, majoring in songwriting in the uh, awesome. recording industry. So program. I wanted, I did want to bring that up. Do you have a song that you've written that we could hear a little bit of that you'd like to play? If not, it's okay. Uh, um, I didn't tell you we'd do that, so I'll leave that up to you. Uh, given the time constraints and everything, okay, I'd say. Okay, maybe not. All right, but, but you feel practiced. like you're learning a lot about writing. And um, do you love that? Yeah. Do you love oh, writing? Yeah, absolutely. Being, I can I can see that you would because it's wonderful when you can do your own music too. All right, let's talk a little bit about the Celtic Cup. Make sure people understand that it's Saturday night mm -hmm. from six until they run you eight -ish. off. Eight -ish. <laughs> six yeah. to about eight, and uh, you'll be playing a variety, obviously. Oh, Ben, well, I actually can't make it to the Celtic oh, Cup going. this weekend. So it's Ben by himself? Um, possibly with a surprise guest. Oh, okay. That sounds good. So do you want to do another tune for us now? Do you have to have reservations to go there? Oh, no, absolutely not. No, you not. just come so in. It's like a coffee shop. Yeah. So, so you just come in and mm -hmm. grab a sandwich and have fun. So you exactly. want to play another tune for me? Yeah, sure. Okay, and we'll, we'll just take it out, and if we run out of time, and anyway, thanks for coming. Ben and Hillary, look for them at Celtic Cup this week. So, this one's a Canadian one. Uh, it's called St. Israel.
everyone. I'm Renee Keene and I'm running for Alderman. I want to serve the citizens of Tallahoma while promoting quality education, economic growth, and while staying engaged in our community's needs. I want to be your voice of reason for the next three years. I'm Renee Keene and I would appreciate your vote on August the 1st. Thank you. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. the sign the main event take a close look inside at a hair studio that offers services by some of the best master stylists in middle tennessee these stylists offer a list of services that compete with large city salons from trendy cuts for men women and children to the latest color techniques including highlights and bold color accents other services offered include permanent hair weaving and relaxing to formal hairstyle for that special occasion. You can also give yourself a very special treat with a full makeover including full body waxing. For your convenience, we are open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. until the last client leaves happy. Call and make your appointment at 931-571-8682 or stop by our Telehoma location at 207 North Jackson Street. Pay for yourself at the main event today. How long has it been since you raced a cheetah? Are your tornado creating skills getting rusty? Tired of being the only one in your neighborhood who hasn't built a dinosaur? Sounds like it's time to visit the Hands-On Science Center. The Hands-On Science Center is an indoor science playground. In this museum, please touch is the rule. Join us for weekly science demonstrations on space, lasers, lizards, rocks, and a whole lot more. No two visits are ever the same, so visit often to see our ever-changing exhibits and demonstrations. The Hands-On Science Center, 101 Mitchell Boulevard in Tullahoma. Are you ready? Yep. Click the links. Oh, sweet Lisa, you're so fine, like a very fine wine. Girl, I need you in my life. Will you be my wife? Charter Internet has more bandwidth to support all your devices. Experience the power of Charter on the nation's fastest Internet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to take you on a quick trip to the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center where this weekend local artist Jim House and Meg Garrick had their opening party with music provided by Rooster and the Red Maiden. All right, this is the art opening at the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center for Jim House. And, uh, and he's, he's got all of his, his stuff here with his beautiful, beautiful stuff. We'll get some close-ups of the lot of and Meg Garrett. So, uh, and then the music uh, tonight is brought to us by Rooster and the Red Maiden, which is Jacob Gray and Cindy Jolly. So, we'll listen to a little bit of music and look at some uh, look at some great art. And this is Meg's art back there in this part right here. And uh, landscape art, very very does a very good job. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? Looks like the sun shining right there. Ocean scene.
it's time to celebrate. You don't have to drive to the city for your party supplies anymore. The Celebrate Party Store has opened at 1802 North Jackson Street in Tullahoma to service all your party needs. Over 300 varieties of balloons, party favors, gift wrap, boxes, bags, bows, plates, napkins, tablecloths, and cups of all colors. Catering supplies from utensils to serving dishes, Wilton cake decorating supplies, and chocolate melts. Wedding, baby shower, bachelorette party, and themed birthday party supplies from any sport to Hollywood. From a luau to Hello Kitty, Celebrate has it all. Hats, masks, patriotic decorations, pinatas, confetti cannons, and full-size celebrity cutouts, and a whole wall of greeting cards at 50% off. Celebrate is home-owned and operated by John and Karen Orr, who invite you to come in and see what they have. You won't believe your eyes, because they have it all. Start your celebration at Celebrate, 1802 Suite 820, North Jackson Street, Tullahoma, 931-455-5550. Charter Internet has the bandwidth to support more devices than anyone else in the market. So everyone can do their own thing, whether it's watching puppy videos or creating an all-powerful command center to mastermind the complete domination of the world, the universe, and... Ooh, ice cream! Get 30 megabits per second for only $30 and let it all in. Welcome back to the Peggy Burton Music Show. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you guys on the set. Happy to be here. I feel like Yay. I have raised, helped to raise Carrington Long and Corwin Davis. Welcome. Thank you. And you Thank guys you. are the directors. We are, yes. Oh. Life has come full circle for me and your <laughs> grandma <laughs> and Rosie Graham. We are so happy to have young people stepping up and you're doing Grease. I we love are. the poster, and yes. I'm just going to show it like this for a minute, and we'll tell the stuff on it. The main thing we want to get across to you today is what an exciting show it is, and you can tell by those kids that just sang. Yes. Have you had any trouble at all working with them, Corin? I know you're doing bit. the music. Just because I've worked with them so much, they, they've kind of become adapted to my weirdness, and, and your, so your style. it works. <laughs> it works with them. They're great. They're great kids. You're a student at Belmont. Yes, ma'am. Majoring in music, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Music and education. loving every bit of it. Loving it. Wish I was there right now. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, just kidding. just kidding. And Carrington is at MTSU, majoring yes, in elementary ma'am. education. Yes, and ma'am. What prompted you guys to do Grease? Actually, I was at my grandmother's house one night, and she said, hey, why don't you direct something? <laughs> I was like, um... Okay, and I thought about it for a night, and I called Corwin, and I said, I'm not doing this without somebody for music, and we just kind of went from there. And you set it up with the Playhouse. And, we did. And Montlow Community College. The play is going to be produced and put on stage at Montlow Auditorium, Ulf Auditorium, and let's give them the time and the dates and all that. Okay, um, the show is the last weekend in July. It'll be the 26th, 27th, and 28th, and then the first weekend in August, the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. I think we need to put the phone number up so you can get reservations because I think it's going to be packed. Mm-hmm. I it is, have no doubt. Should, yes. You know the number well enough to give it. And the guys in the back, if you'll put this on the Go screen so it people is. can call in. For Community Playhouse, it's 931 455 0620. And maybe by magic it'll show up. If not, we'll carry. See there? There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. How many is in the play? There are. F- 41 in the cast. Good, good size cast. It is. Um, it's mostly college and high school age, but there are adults as our teachers and teen angel and all of that. When I read the article set, uh, in Sunday's paper, mm-hmm. which was a full page spread on YouTube, which I thought was wonderful, and the fact <laughs> that this play is coming up, 
but I was so impressed that you have asked advice from some of your elders and I've, I have talked to them and they have found that you're very capable and doing a wonderful job. Do you ever yes. get frazzled? Oh yes, I do for sure. <laughs> um, yo, most definitely. Uh. But I knew there was no way we were going to pull this off without the help. You know how to do it. Miss Rosie knows how to do it. Peggy Hayden knows how to do it. My grandmother knows how. I'm not going to go into it without help. Like, yeah, I've well, never done this smart. before. <laughs> So we just kind of set up like a mentor program. You know, Corwin's had some help. Um, the sound, the lights, all of it. Choreography has been done with adult mentors. And who actually is doing the lights for you? Um, Alan Gray has actually set our lights Alan for us. Alan has risen from the dead. He has, yes. I'm so glad. He does an awesome job. Oh, he's great. phenomenal. Um, I, think, I think it's interesting just because we're allowing everyone to get some kind of learning experience, whether they're yes. backstage doing lights, sound, costumes, makeup, hair. Um, but even everyone on stage isn't just learning enough to perform this show and pass it through, but we're trying to teach them enough to just Let become them. better performers. And, and, and then maybe there are, there are some of them that will want to produce and direct. Exactly. Hopefully. Do you find it's a bigger task than you ever dreamed? <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> um, it, you know, when you're in a show, you're like, okay, we learn our blocking, we learn our songs, learn the dances, done. You don't think about, well, someone has to find all the prop pieces, someone has to find the costume, someone has to design a set, someone has to get it out there so people actually buy tickets to know you're doing the show. There's a huge a commitment lot. of time and energy that people don't see. And when they come to the show, they're just happy. They get to clap mm -hmm. and applaud yes. and have a really good time. <laughs> Love the music in this show. Do y'all have a favorite song? Oh, Lord, there's so Ooh. many. I think a big surprise is going to be their worst things I could do which our Rizzo is Allie Edwards. I love Allie Edwards, and, and I'm thrilled to death that she's doing that part. It's going to be big. I think that there's there will be a lot of showstoppers mm -hmm. in this production there because there's some songs that people can identify with. When was this play written? Do you know? Ooh. Oh, well, it's all right if you don't know. I know it was based in 59, but yeah. I don't know I what it was actually. The, I want to say the Broadway came out in either 73 or 74. 70, 70, 70, I think. So it, it's been around a while, but it's mm -hmm. a wonderful production. And we want to encourage you to get your tickets early because the auditorium at Motlow, there are no bad seats. Mm -hmm. There are not. And mm -hmm. all seats, I guess, are reserved, or are they just it open seating? It is open seating. seating. So you buy a ticket, and it's first come, first served. Yes. But I have been there sitting on the back row in the corner, and I could see everything. Every seat. It's a wonderful auditorium. We've got 30 seconds. What do you want to say in 30 seconds? <laughs> um, it is a really fun show. There's lots of crazy dancing, crazy lights. Fun songs, a lot of new talent, completely done by kids. I think we will blow you away. Fun set props that have never been on stage before, so that'll be good. Okay, Sounds well, good. I am so proud of Corwin Davis and Carrington Long, and we'll see you at Greece. Look around, the changes catch your eye, and you come to realize. One can make a difference. Since 1915, Kiwanis International has touched millions of lives. When you help one child, you help the world. But one can make a difference. Okay, we got 30 seconds. We got 30 Big show. Seconds. Big show today. <laughs> I know. Lots of good music. Big show yeah, today. I'm we're, so proud of these kids. Well, and we're going to end the show with some more music from uh, from the Midsummer Night's Dream. Or oh, okay. Midsummer Night's whatever. Swing. swing. <laughs> and it's with uh, saxophone player, Scott. Oh, Scott playing uh, Forever in Love. Forever Beautiful. in Love. Listen, Scott Young Excellent. was grown up here and... Went to high school here, and he's a wonderful sax yeah, player. Yeah, he's a great sax player, and you'll love this. Folks, we'll see you next week. Next time, Charter Channel 6, 20 years of serving you. Bye-bye. Scott Young will be playing Forever in Love. You're not in love now. You will be after he gets through with this song. We love it. <laughs>